आई वी एम Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of the Positively Unlimited podcast. This week I'm talking about K for kiss. I'm sure I have your attention now. So kiss as in K I S S for keep it simple, silly. A few years ago I was invited to a party where the dress code was called kiss and this is what the hosts meant. Keep it simple, silly. So when this letter came around a second time, I thought it was quite apt for our times, don't you think? But in this crazy world with so many ideas and emotions zipping around and through us how do we keep it simple Honestly a person who can do this successfully and consistently is a superhero in my books So I jotted down a couple of things we do that complicate our lives overthink and overcommit Okay here's a quick fact about overthinking We all do it every single one of us including me It's just that some of us overthink all the time and some only in particular situations another interesting fact to stop overthinking does not mean you need to stop thinking completely that's actually not possible the opposite of overthinking for me is constructive thinking if we can ask ourselves the right questions we can keep things simple if we speak to ourselves appropriately we can avoid that anxious feeling which will once again lead to overthinking and also complicating situations through unwarranted actions for example i told a client of mine who struggled with overthinking about things that hadn't happened yet to tell herself i will cross the bridge when i reach it every time she got into that what will i do if this happens mode and it has worked wonders she is no longer panicking about hypothetical situations another cliche that i put to good use is not my circus not my monkeys I cannot tell you how many times I've avoided being an uninvited guest in an argument just by saying that to myself. I even made a 21-year-old client of mine practice reminding himself that he's only 21. So every time he thought he should have all the answers or he should know better or he should be doing things faster, he would say I'm only 21 aloud. Constructive thinking can help keep things simple. Another quick trick is to express whatever you are feeling in a single sentence. So if you are feeling anxious, ask yourself, what am I actually afraid of? What do I fear is going to happen? Or if you find yourself snapping at everyone, ask yourself, what is this anger about? Or where is this anger coming from? But remember, the answer should be one clear sentence. I think speaking in clear, crisp sentences is a number one way to keep things simple. which brings me to overcommitting why are we so scared to say no i cannot do this or it cannot happen in the time that you are expecting why is the deadline for everything always yesterday and if you are a person who keeps setting these impossible deadlines get up and organize your life a little better also if you cannot organize your life you have no right to make other people's lives stressful by imposing your unrealistic deadlines on them Yes, I'm talking to all team heads and bosses listening in. For example, I have these beautiful positivity planners that I have created. It's a powerful planning system consisting of four diaries full of tools besides columns for appointments and to-do lists. But more about the positivity planner system is on my website, so I'm not getting into the details here. But when I was creating them, given that I come from the advertising and publishing world, I already knew how much time the designer and printer would need and hence i planned it backwards i know the printer needs at least a week to print and in the rains i'd make that two weeks the designer would need at least two weeks provided i gave her the final content and reverted with changes promptly now if i give her the content in pieces and she ends up taking three weeks to design it then that delay is on me i cannot pass that on to the printer and ask him to deliver my books in half the time I as must all of us take full responsibility for my actions. So either I stick to my word or I figure out realistic deadlines taking everything that's happening in my life into account. Don't overcommit to anything and you will keep it simple silly. Life is simple. We complicate it by not thinking, speaking and acting in alignment. We complicate it by not taking into account the context and different perspectives at play. we complicate it because of our muddled emotions keep your thoughts and emotions in check 
and you will be able to keep it simple. All the previous episodes, yes, every single one so far, has some great tips to processing our thoughts and feelings appropriately. Make sure you listen to them on ivmpodcast.com or download the IVM app today. I hope you practice keeping it simple this week and I'll be back next Monday with another positive action mindset. Family businesses get a bad rap. At one time they were looked down on for getting rich, for being too ambitious. Today they're still looked down on, but for not being ambitious enough. Not agile enough, not modern enough, too traditional in their mindset. The biggest brands and business houses in the country started out as humble family businesses. It's the way India has done business. Join Sonu Basin in conversation with stalwarts of Indian family businesses on the Inheritors podcast series by Bloomberg Quint. Discuss the highs and lows, the needs and pressure points of building a business legacy that spans generation. Hi, my name is Anupam Gupta. I'm B50 on Twitter. I am the host of Paisa Paisa, the show that talks money. On my show, I speak to experts from every field of money and finance, from stock markets, equities, debt funds, credit cards, life insurance, every possible area of money and finance that you can think of. We even did an episode on cryptocurrency. I've got fantastic guests from mutual funds to personal finance experts everywhere. Robo advisory, startups, just name it, we've got it. At Paisa Paisa, we help you make smart decisions about money. You work hard for money. Now make your money work hard for you. New episodes out every Monday and you can listen to my show on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app that you have.